You guys, I am full to the brim. Oh my gosh. I have way too many things. But my nieces just helped me put this in. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here in my classroom for the very first time in the school year. It is July 25th and I'm very excited. I have two of my nieces helping me here today. So we're gonna start setting up. I already brought some stuff from my, um, my house. We packed my car to the max and I can't wait to start setting up my classroom. I have so many new things for it and so many new ideas. If you have not watched any of my videos before, I am Meedy, also known as Miss Baca, and I teach second grade, so I'm going into my sixth year as a teacher. Very excited. I'm gonna be teaching second grade for the second time, and I can't wait I to actually like know and teach something that I've already done. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe down below. Okay, really quickly, I wanted to give you guys an overview. There's my niece, Amy. Say hi. <laughs> and here's what my classroom looks like. So a lot to do right now. Um, there's my niece, Gayla. She's helping me laminate some stuff. So first we have to set up my desk. I did buy a desk from Target and I'll try to link everything down below. Um, we'll see how it goes. It should be pretty simple. It looks simple. We'll see. I see you hide yourself Underneath the mountain of makeup Plus the words that you made up won't make you Any cooler than you are But when you're with me And you're half asleep And I can count each freckle And see all your beauty that you hide This ain't usually how you're like update of what my classroom looks like now i have to replace the bulletin boards so i'm not going to use boxwood anymore i'm going to use another better than paper paper um and then i have a bunch of trash here we got a bunch of laminating done i'm just going to call it a day because it's two o'clock and we haven't even had lunch so i will catch you guys next time that I'm in my classroom. Hi guys, good morning. So I am right outside of my school and I'm about to go into my classroom for the second day. I went on Monday and now it's Thursday. So the first day I'm setting up my classroom, I was like a little bit, it was just too wild, too much going on. And now I'm like, okay, I'm focused. I know like in my mind how I want to set up my classroom. So um, I am excited to do it. I don't have to be here. We don't have to be here at all this week, but I wanted to get a head start because um, I've always just come whenever everyone comes back to work and um, it just gets so overwhelming and I get I end up getting so stressed and I don't even have time to finish everything so I'm like you know what I'll just go they like allowed us to go in early so I was like jumping all in on that um, because I just want to get my classroom set up and just be stress-free once we do go back to school I only have a few more days of summer break like I only had two months which is really sad I was used to three months in Colorado um, but nonetheless I'm super excited to start the school year and I can't wait to take you guys along with me and show you guys um, everything that I have set up in my classroom so far and everything that I'm gonna do today I'll I'm only gonna be here for two hours so we'll see what we get done but let's go ahead and go Oh my goodness, okay guys, I finally made it into my classroom. I wasn't able to get in right away because my fob wasn't working, like the door fob wasn't working and um, I had to have the custodians let me in, but I'm in. I just wanted to show you guys um, what I have so far and I haven't touched anything right now, but I only have a couple of hours, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys was the rug that I got for my little reading corner, so I'll do that right now. What is my hair right now? Side note, I was feeling very emotional today, like for no reason. I have no idea why or what it was, but I think it's the hormones. Honestly, my hormones, they're just running wild today. Um, so I was like very sentimental and um, Omad called me and I just started crying for no reason. But we're gonna have a better day. I bought this rug and I was so sad because after I got it, it went on sale. So I paid, I think, $45 for it. Um, and hopefully I don't regret it. <gasps> Ooh, 
it looks like it's amazing quality. Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at how cute. My vlog, say hi. Hey, you two. So here's Dee, my roommate. She is working hi. on her classroom right now and I'm working on my classroom right now. So yes. we're we both excited. I know, look at how cute she looks. Her, her room is all big, but we're showing each other like the before and then we're going to show each other the after. So yeah, it's going to be fun. To do YouTube. Yes. Okay, guys. So I have a huge mess, but I decided to move this table. It was originally right there. Um, I mean, this this was the original spot last year, but I was thinking of moving it there and it wasn't working out for me. So here's what I did. I got a bunch of books and just all the stuff that I need for my reading corner and I was gonna have just one reading corner but now I'm gonna have three reading corners so here's the first one um, I'm about to change this around you guys are gonna be shocked here is the second one and then the third one is gonna be right here so let's go ahead and work on that then you say don't you be afraid of driving me insane the next time I'm here which might be tomorrow I'm definitely gonna cover those up um, with better than paper um, border paper I'll show you guys this is the one I'm gonna use for them if you guys have never used better than paper paper you guys should definitely do it it is so good for bulletin boards like it makes your bulletin boards look amazing i'll show you guys that tomorrow oh my gosh okay guys so it is 12 37 and i think i'm gonna call it a day i got here a little after 10 but it took a really long time for them to open my classroom so um that was a little bummer a little bit of a bummer but it's okay i still got a lot done as you guys can tell the most important thing today was um my reading nooks and i didn't get to the third one i don't even know if i will make a third one um now i'm second guessing myself but if I do, I'll show you guys for sure. Nothing is finalized. I'm gonna move things around. That tends to happen a lot with me because I am very OCD about things and it has only gotten worse throughout the, the years, so. Here's my other little reading nook. I was thinking of um, moving this. By the way, I hate that spot, it's awful. Anyway, I was thinking of moving this map um, over here and then having some more books. Um, right here and then a little bit like a few more pillows right here maybe and then my affirmation station um, can be right here I was thinking that I can just somehow maybe with like command strips or something um, hang it onto the brick wall why do my legs look so dark <laughs> and then just a little overview of my teacher corner it's looking okay okay um, but it still has a lot of work to be done to it i did get this clock from amazon love it good morning guys happy friday i'm here at my school this is day three of classroom setup and i'm ready to get things started it's not really that early it's 9 42 right now and i think i'm gonna be able to be here for a couple of hours we'll see but i have my dutch bros with me and then i also have some water because i'm gonna be thirsty um one of my colleagues is right there looking i hope that she didn't see me just vlog oh well i hope that you guys are still enjoying this video i also have this bandana on me and i don't know how to feel about it i love when um girls wear bandanas I think they look so cute and I just don't know if I can pull it off but I'm just gonna do it because I have third day hair and I it's just not cute so it was either this or a hat and I feel like I've, I've been wearing hats a lot so I think this will do it let's go to my classroom I think I'm gonna use actually I don't 
that's gonna blend in. So maybe I won't use this. I'll save this for later, but I'll use this light pink one all around. And I got this from Lakeshore. Right now, Lakeshore is having a sale for teachers. I think most of this stuff is like 15%, 20% off. So I highly suggest that you guys go to Lakeshore because they're having a really good sale. Um, I also got a bunch of stuff for my comm corner and just for decor around my classroom from there. So go. Go now to Lakeshore. Thank me later. A fear consumes your mind. What if I'm not too caught up for this life? Oh, I've never seen you act this way. So I came, booked a one way to LA. Gave up everything, paused my job and changed my name so I could prove to you. Hey, hey, what you told me was true. Then you said, don't you be afraid. Of Okay, so a little update. I have my class jobs display right here and I'm gonna post it up here just like I did it last year. And then for this bulletin board, I think I'm just gonna do like a um, reading bulletin board. Like just anything with reading, I think I might have like a quote about reading or something like that. I'm not too sure. If not, I might put my calming corner quotes there and just make this a little calming corner i'll just show you guys what i mean by calming corner so i'm gonna have this little sign and then the kids are going to go there for um whenever they are feeling frustrated or when things are just not working out when they just need a timeout. so um i have a few posters here and then just things that they can try um like this one says write in a journal and then this one says do a puzzle so i'll have a puzzle for them to do um, and then there's other ones. I just haven't laminated them, but they can also do some yoga. These are all just really good strategies for kids because a lot of kids still don't know how to process their emotions all that well. So, um, these activities are going to help and it's my first year having a calming corner. So, wish me luck. I think it's going to be good for them and it's going to be a good for me and my sanity as well. Um, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> because i didn't eat breakfast this morning and well i ate a, like fruit bar and then a banana but i'm so hungry it's 1 i'm still in my classroom so i'm eating some lunch i have lasagna that i um got from volleyball last night we had lasagna and it's so yummy and then i also made this fruit salad um to take to the volleyball to my volleyball group but I haven't really been vlogging a whole lot because I just kind of want to get things done and um, I want to like organize everything in my mind and then kind of show you guys what I'm doing but um, right before I started eating I was organizing my teaching corner my teacher corner and it's looking pretty good honestly I just am setting all things aside that I want for my teaching corner and then I'm gonna organize everything so um, that's like my next task before I leave so that has to be done before I leave and my calming corner also has to be done before I leave today hi guys happy Monday it's the fourth day of classroom setup and it's a Monday I haven't been in my classroom since Friday I um, kind of didn't vlog a lot that day because I was just a little overstimulated overwhelmed um, but I'll show you guys what I have going on so far um, so we actually all have to be here today so everyone is back I'm excited to see my colleagues again and we only have a couple of hours to work in our classroom and then after that we are gonna do like trainings and meetings and things like that so um, let's get into the classroom. I bought some stuff over the weekend, so I'll show you guys. I have my lunch with me, my breakfast as well. I haven't eaten any breakfast because I was very anxious this morning. So anyway, I hope I can eat soon. I'll talk to you guys later. If you're in the moonlight, I could be the daylight. Couple miles left, let's go. Pulling up a coffee stand, I was up on my life. You were searching like a ghost. I 
am in love. I love how everything turned out. Um, here's my little desk. I decided to make it a little bit more simple than last year. Um, and then I added this lamp, which makes such a big difference. You guys, I'm seriously so thankful. I just got all of these things in the mail from all of you guys donating um, to my classroom wish list. I honestly feel so grateful to have all of you guys supporting my channel, whether it's with a like, a comment, a um, pressing the subscribe button, or just like donating to my classroom. It just means so much. So thank you guys so, so much. I love you guys. A long time ago, I had these sequins pillows. Um, a long time ago, they were brand new and now they're ugly and nasty and I just don't want them in my classroom anymore. But I got some pillowcases and they are leather. So I'm excited to try them. This is what they look like. Oh man, I think they might be a little too big for these pillows, but we're gonna see. If anything, I'll just buy new ones, but I was like, leather would be awesome because then if they um, like spill something on it or if they sit, things like that, like it won't get messed up. Um, and then also it's more sanitary because I can just wipe them off. So, okay, I guess it is a little bit big for it, but hey, I'm still gonna work with it. This one might feel it a bit more. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get new pillows, but it's still cute, right? Like, actually, I don't think I need to replace this one. Maybe. See. All right, I almost forgot to show you guys really quick everything that I bought this weekend. Um, I got some command um, strips and hooks. I got some white erasers because they come in handy. And then a couple of little tubs for my calm down corner. Um, as well as this activity book for my calm down corner. Some loose leaf binder rings. Um, these will go over there um, on my little rack because I'm gonna put the date on them so I'll show you guys what that looks like later and then I also got some AAA batteries but they didn't have enough I only got a little pack so most of the things I got from Walmart these things I got from um, Dollar Tree this one I also got from Walmart it's an LED light bulb and I'm in love I just plugged it in and you guys you're gonna be shocked so it changes intensity and then I can also change the color. So I'm excited for this. Okay guys, after what's felt like an eternity, I finally finished cutting all my laminations, all my posters, and I'm ready to hang them up. I just now need to figure out how things are gonna go. I think I mentioned this, but this is the first time I do a calm down corner, and I wanna do these activities. What is my hair right now? I wanted to put these activities in like a um, loose leaf three ring um, little like binder clip thing. Um, but I forgot that I got this little thing at Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, my lanyard is so noisy. So I can just put them in here. So I'm gonna do that right now. So I really have to hurry because here in a little bit, my colleague is gonna pick me up because we're gonna go to another school for a meeting. <gasps> you guys, it fit perfectly. I'm not even kidding. I love this. So whenever my kids need to calm down, I'm gonna be like, okay, get some activities, like find some activities to do, and then they'll look through here, like yoga, um, take a deep breath, write in a journal, drink some water, dance, probably not dance, do a puzzle, um, do a sensory activity, and then I'll have some sensory activities for them. So I'll go through this on the first week of school, which is next week. All right, I was gonna head out and it's pouring rain outside. So I think I'm just gonna wait a little bit because I definitely don't wanna get rained on. Guys, my classroom is done. Here's what you guys are gonna get for now. Here's what it looks like. I'm very proud and happy about it. I have more things um, to do. That little corner needs a lot of work, but here's what my classroom looks like. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. 
I will go more into detail whenever I make a classroom tour video. Until then, see you guys.